Codemic, and this is a tutorial on how to install Cloud Ready by Neverware. This is a tool that allows you to convert an old laptop into a Chromebook running Chrome OS. Maybe it can revive an old netbook too. I've actually installed this on a netbook and it works really well. So this is just a quick tutorial. So we're going to start off on Google Chrome. This has to be done through the Google Chrome browser. Um, you're going to search Chrome Web Store. Click on the top link called Chrome Web Store Apps. Then in the top left, you'll see a small search bar, and you're going to type in Recovery. And on Recovery, you'll see the top link is called Chromebook Recovery Utility. Now, I've already installed this on my computer, but you're going to hit uh, similar to add the Chrome button up here. So just add that to your Google Chrome and uh, it'll install it for you. It shouldn't take very long. After you have that installed, we're going to go to neverware.com. That's the official uh, company behind CloudReady. Uh, on their website, scroll up to CloudReady up here. It should already be pulled up. And go to pricing. Now don't worry, this is free. If you're in a school system or something like that, I would recommend going for their uh, for educators that has a lot more support, uh, technical support and whatnot. If you're a company, they have a enterprise uh, solution coming soon. So you could either sign up for the beta program or I don't know if you wanna try it out first. Uh, but if you're a person like me or you just wanna try it out or for home use, you're gonna hit the home and just hit the download now button. We're going to launch the Chromebook recovery tool and you should get a screen that looks like this. You'll also need a four to eight gigabyte or even larger, it doesn't matter, SD or flash memory stick. You're going to go to this gear icon and hit use local. For privacy purposes, I'm not going to show myself uh, scrolling through my file explorer, but you should open your cloud ready free and it should look something like that. I'm sure if you're watching this in the future, you're going to see a more updated version, but right now the newest version is cloud ready 45 dot whatever else. I'm going to select my memory stick, which is a SanDisk Ultra 29 gig stick, so it should have plenty of room. Then we're going to hit continue. Make sure you're doing this on the right stick, because this will format the stick and erase anything on it. Just a warning, so don't keep any uh, important files on your stick, or else that will be very bad for you. You're going to hit continue. Uh, create a recovery image. All data and partitions will be deleted. Last warning, please make sure you have any files backed up on here that you don't need. And uh, hit create now. And it'll write to the stick. It's uh, writing the OS to the stick for the launcher. And this doesn't take too long, so we'll pick it up once this is done. Once the software is done writing to the flash drive, you should get a screen that looks like this. We're now ready to eject the flash drive from your computer and plug it into whatever laptop or netbook that you're going to convert into a Chromebook. So I'll see you guys in just a second. If you have successfully booted up into uh, CloudReady, you should get a screen like this. This is the initial setup screen. So I just selected my ASUS Wi-Fi network in English, United States, since, or just select whatever region. It's checking for Chromium updates. So there's a difference between Chrome OS and this. Chromium is the open source version, but it works exactly the same way. And it's just going to be loading through some different menus and things. So once I get this all set up, we'll, let's see, accept and install. It's an installing Adobe Flash. Let's just go ahead and do that. After you've logged in or signed in as a guest, you should get a window that looks like this. 
and now you're actually running Chrome OS on your uh, netbook or laptop. Now for some reason there's no background, but that's okay, it's just, you can go ahead and set that later. <clears throat> What I'm going to do now is actually install it. You haven't actually installed this on your system, so uh, if you, you know, you can try it out here, and if you like it enough, or if it runs well and everything's working, you could go ahead and install it as either a dual boot or as a uh, standalone. So you go to this lower tab here with time and Wi-Fi information, and go to install cloud ready. Hit install cloud ready and then select either standalone or dual boot. Make sure you're sure you know what you want. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and do standalone because I just want to install this on the netbook. And yeah, one last warning this will totally erase your hard drive, so make sure you know what you're doing. And I know I definitely want to install cloud ready. And now this process should take a little while just because it's totally formatting hard drives, so we'll go ahead and let that install and we'll come back to it.